What's going on? everybody welcome back it's here parts are all powder coated uh i'm already starting to slap this one on i already put i didn't connect my other nitrous lines but i already connected these uh nipples right here <clears throat> and yeah so we're gonna try to get basically everything all put in um everything all done i already have the dry line all put together so that's all said and done Still got my bumpers here. Um, I'm waiting for my grill. Once my grill comes in, then we can hurry up and paint that. But oh, man, this thing is it's gonna pop for sure. Uh, I would probably would have been halfway done by now, but I had to wait for my wife. I left this phone in the car, which is my camera. Uh, I had I brought my GoPro as well, so I'll be showing you different uh, angles, and then. Um, yeah, so I had to go get all that stuff at home, and then I had to get a couple more parts. I think I forgot my, um, what are they called? Thermostats, which this truck takes to, a big one and a small one. Um, I think I forgot those at home, so I, I can do somewhat some stuff today, but I can't do it all. So uh, we're going to get what we can today done. That way, tomorrow, all we have to do is basically paint the bumper and the grill, and then we should be completely done on friday maybe may even make it to a car show then but until then let's go ahead and get started and uh, put this project back together well you guys i just spent an hour doing nothing literally um well we got one major problem and i really didn't consider it until now um it must have a different, uh, let's say, bracket on this because the uh, basically the line right here, uh, it's supposed to be lower, right? Um, when I go and put this filler piece on, okay, I go to put it on, the filler piece is literally sitting right there. So um, either... I got the wrong spec or I got the, um, yeah, I think I got the wrong spec or they added a new, uh, bracket. And like I said, this is my, um, very first diesel. So I'm not too sure what they replaced and what they didn't, but that's one thing that doesn't fit, which bums me out. Now I got to see if this one fits right here, which is, which is basically this guy i gotta see if it fits and it looks like it's not gonna fit which totally sucks um i guess i should have asked uh basically the guy who used to own this truck because i'm friends with him on facebook i probably should have asked if uh this kit would have fit on this truck because of the relocation on the belt and I'm pretty sure this doesn't fit at all, which is pretty shitty. And I'll tell you one thing, because for one, this kit wasn't cheap. You know, if you guys go online, this is like a $350 kit, plus the powder coating as well. You know, I spent a pretty good penny on this powder coating stuff. And just to find out that it doesn't fit really, really sucks. Um... So now I gotta figure out if I'm gonna run this or if I'm not. And I don't think I am. I still have to replace it. So I think I'm just going to um, go from there, figure it out, uh, figure out what type of brackets I need and whatnot. Um, like I said, this sucks. I'm probably gonna have to sell this kit online to someone. Um, so they're gonna have the same color. If not, they're gonna go completely different. And yeah, so um, I'm still going to take the piece off, like I said. Maybe I'll just test fit it and see if it fits. 
Um, big bummer. I probably should have test fitted it first, which everybody recommends you always test fit parts before you just take it off to paint or powder coat. I know that happens in the body business. And like I said, I should have paid closer attention to it. And now I'm kind of paying the price for it. So it's just shitty. It's, you know, it's pretty excited. I was super excited about this, but it ended up not being the right one. So now I just got to figure out what motor, if it's even the right motor that I put in, which I think it is, but you just never know. So now I just got to figure out and go from there. So I'll let you guys know what my plans are for it. So until then, let's get moving. Uh, I still got to uh, put in the radiator and everything, so I'm pretty sure I'll just do that. Like I said, I'll still take off the hose because I need to replace those thermostats anyways. All right, let me show you how far I get. I got, well, just got the uh, radiator in. I uh, got all my bolts in. I got my um, boot in as well for the... Uh, intercooler piping i'm about to put this piping on as well and connect it down the bottom like i said i'm not going to put my radiator hose on yet uh just for the fact that i got to replace the um the thermostats so uh getting closer so things are starting to look decent i should say so one person was telling me because i already posted the uh, kit online to sell it but one guy actually told me to Kind of relocate the, um, what do you call it, the uh, belt, and I'll probably do some research tonight uh, to see where I can relocate the belt and how I can relocate the belt without really messing up anything else. Uh, if not, maybe I'll just go talk to the guy that actually told me to do that, and we'll go from there. But yeah, so other than that, you know, we're actually getting pretty close on this so i think all i'm going to do is put my uh radiator support on and then start basically uh going juggling back and forth putting my cooler stuff on and everything so let me go ahead and go get my uh my upper radiator support Ooh, yeah she looks good man if only we can get that piping right here turn out mint but just got the uh cooler mounted um got my radiator support mounted i just gotta bolt up my ac condenser and then uh put on my um my latch right here and then we are basically almost done like i said i still gotta put that pipe in so i'm probably gonna do that really quick um maybe i'll find a mining point and then i'll hurry up and put that in other than that, you know, we're almost as far as we can go uh, until I can get my, uh, basically, um, what do you call those? God, I always forget them. Thermostats. Until I can get my thermostats in, uh, I'm not going to put any coolant in as for now. And then I still need to get my sensor as well. Um, I, I do not know why, but I keep throwing a sensor, a code right here. So, I mean, I'm just going to replace it. I already got the new one, like I said, so I'm just gonna do that. And then maybe I won't have a code. Uh, I'm gonna put my intake back on. Well, maybe I'll wait on that and then put on my um, sensor first and then put on my intake. That we are going to get everything else mounted up. So give me one second. running into a problem if you guys saw me struggling it's because i was finally got the gasket on but 
if you guys can see, it don't line up. Now, partially, um, I should say it's basically my fault. What I should have done is basically gave him the radiator support, the upper radiator support, mounted the intercooler to it, uh, at least put a bolt on each side. So then that way it would have been mounted and then he would have got a proper um, measurement, basically. So now I'm gonna have to send him a video, kind of explain the situation. So what I did is I tightened that one already. So that one's already tight. I loosened it so I can try to see if I can get that one and then we can try to figure out something, but it's, it's kind of not working out. Um, so yeah, that's the problem. Um, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Like I said, now I gotta figure out what to do if I need to send it back to him, which means I gotta take the drive line off. We gotta take the truck all the way back to him. Or, you know, maybe he can come down here and hurry up and maybe work some magic. I don't know. Like I said, I mean, we're basically a quarter of an inch, half an inch off on the bottom. So I know that has to come at an angle, which, it, like I said, you guys, it just sucks. Um, everything was basically mounted in. So now we got to try to figure something out because it's just not working out. I was hoping to get it done this weekend. I don't think it's gonna happen. But you know, you just can't rush perfection. And I'm basically that's that's what happens when I rushed. Like I said, I should have mounted the upper radiator support, but you know, I was just I didn't think um it would be that bad off. I thought, you know, a couple centimeters, but yeah, so now now we're gonna have to figure something out. I'm pretty sure what happened was because that intercooler wasn't mounted down right, it Basically, he could move it anywhere he wanted and then basically uh, make his measurements, cut it, weld it, put the V-band on, you know, tack weld, uh, yeah, tack weld it, um, and then basically went from there. And it fit when it wasn't mounted. But now that I'm mounted the intercooler all the way down, um, that's the problem that we're having right now. So, you know, I'm gonna have to give him a call, but, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Like you said, you guys, it's kind of late. Um, I was supposed to be home about an hour and a half ago, but uh, that didn't happen because I was too busy messing with this truck. So I'm just gonna basically send them a video, go from there, and I'll let you guys know in the next video what goes on. But thank you guys for watching. Um, until next time, you guys, see you around.